Okay, morning. Um, we're going to show you how to wire up, and this is not a, a taking the mic or anything, a couple of LED trailer lights that got off eBay. Um, and the thing is, they came with the wrong, with the wrong wiring code. It says black was ground, and, uh, and I'm going to try and figure it out and tell you, show you how I wire mine up, okay? So, crudely, what I've done, first of all, to test these lights, make sure they're all working fine, and what does what. I've got a battery. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So, a 12 volt old wheel, wheelchair battery. I've connected a wire, positive and negative, and I've sussed out that the ground, it, it says on some of them, is um, black. Well, it's not, it's white. <laughs> Which is a bit of a contrast. So you've got to be careful. This is a very crude way of doing it, all right? I would use connectors. So I'm just going to bind the two together, keeping that one apart. And now we want to see what actually the lights are. Let me just put the other one behind, like so. So it's a stop, tail, and indicator, okay? Then I'll show you how you've got to separate the wires on your uh, towing hitch wire to correspond with left and right on these. Okay, so first of all, tail. So the blue is tail, all right? Stop, well, that's pretty common, is stop, red. Red is stop. You can tell the difference, okay, tail, lot, just very, very faint. And then red is very, very bright. And then of course, the last one is yellow, which is indicators. Well, I'm making it flash, okay? That's me. <laughs> so yellow, indicators. Red, stop. Tail, green. And of course, black is now negative. And both are exactly the same. So let's pull them off so we don't cause any shorts, okay? So now what we're going to do, we've got to get a seven core cable, which I'll show you. And we've got to strip it. There you go. That's be seven core. Okay, so when you look at these wires, which are identical, so if you wire them up as you think you would, well, I don't know, I'm not going to say anything, but you'd end up with them all doing the same thing at the same time, stop, tail, indicate, and everything. So what you've got to do, you've got to take your um, tow hitch wire, or your tow bar, whatever you want to call it, your, um, yeah, light board wire, and you've got to separate them to the left and the right. And that's where this comes in, which I bought the other day. And I'll put this, and there you go. So what you've got to do, you've got to figure out left-hand indicator. We don't need the fog. Why have we got the fog on that one? Anyway, forget the fog. Doesn't matter, blue, there isn't a blue. Well, there is a blue on here. You just ignore it, okay? Because we don't have a fog light. So earth return is white. Yellow is left-hand indicator. So you've got to remember that. And then you've got the right hand indicator is green. So you've got to remember that these have got to go to the corresponding lights. Left, let me just come out. So I'm going to use a block connector, which is a bit crude, but I'll show you this. So yellow on this one is your left hand indicator. So let's go for yellow. And that would go to the yellow on this one. Okay. And then the uh, right hand indicator, which is green, boom, 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 boom. green on this one, would then go to the yellow on this indicator. So they'd be independent, you see what I mean? No, I'm not being funny here, but the wiring instructions weren't the best with these. <laughs> They're actually the wrong color code. Right, so I'll get on, get a block connector, get these wired up, and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so I'm using individual connectors. C, left, and right, hopefully. <laughs> so now what I want to do is correspond. So I've put both whites into one block connector, because that is the earth. Okay, so now we've got to separate. So we know that both is indicator yellow, both indicators. Red is stop, and green is tail. So now what we do is correspond these with the left and right. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick look. So left hand indicator from the wiring loom, which is this, this, the big wire, this is this lot, okay, we know is left. So we need to join these two together, like so, okay. 
These were left lying around at school. Someone came to do a job and left them. I thought they're brilliant. So I had a few. <laughs> pair of pliers. And then they uh, squash them in. They're a bit messy. Close the lid. And there we go. So that's the left hand indicator done. So I'll finish off doing the left hand side, then I'll do the right hand side. Left tail light is black. And we all know where that goes, and that goes to tail light. Now pop him in there, pop the black. This would better work when I finished it. Oops. <laughs> Next is stop, so that's where they both go together, both threads go together. Now I know it's crude and I know everybody's criticised, it's fine, don't worry. So I'm just going to put them together like so. <clears throat> With a clip. I'm joining the two reds from both lights together. Just snip that, snip that a little bit. That's all the way in, and then the red. All the way in. And now we'll do the right hand tail and right hand indicator. So we know that the so yellow is the indicator on the lights that you bought, so the LEDs, and that will correspond to a little quick look at the card. The right hand indicator is green, which will go to the right hand indicator, the yellow. Green's in there. Holding over. This had better work. Okay, so both in. Snug. And squeeze. And then we've got two wires left. So we now have a green, which we know is tail, and that goes to brown. I'm just getting all this stuff off my fingers. Okay, so brown goes in, green goes in, we have monkey. Now if you're doing this on a board, of course you have the wires will be longer and you do a better job. This is just for demo purposes. Okay, close that over. And then if you're on a vehicle, which is like on the back of a trailer and you need reversing lights, then your blue would be reversing lights, but we don't have that. So I'm just going to snip that off, okay? We don't need that. We don't have reversing lights. So the next thing is to do is to hook this up to my vehicle. Let's see if it works. Okay, hazards, they're working. I had a lot of trouble, nothing worked. I thought, what have I done wrong? The wiring is spot on. And the wiring in the plug was spot on. The only problem was the pins weren't very good. I think they've had a lot of wear. So I've had to spread the pins. And as soon as I put it, I think it was a bad earth. And hopefully that's everything else works. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we know that both the indicators work. I'll do them separate in a minute. Okay, so le left one slow and trouble with this earth in this socket. So left one working now. Okay, right hand indicator. Tail lights working. Beautiful. Brakes. Oh, look at that. Everything working. Stop, tail, brakes, and indicators. Do the indicators again, Andrew. And do the hazards. There we go. All working perfect. Okay, thanks very much. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. 
and a subscribe and uh, notification bells and subscribe buttons over here up and coming videos over this side all right all the best hope you enjoyed the video a uh, few problems with that stupid plug down there so you've got to check that it's an old plug as well so i might have to replace the one in the vehicle but we'll see all the best